Question number 8 from exercise 2a. Use the number line to illustrate each of the following. So in this question we have to use the number line to show these values on the number line. In part a we have minus 1 divided by 3 comma 2.5 one sided 3 over 8 comma 1 comma minus 0 0.2 comma 0 0.11. So in part a first of all we have to draw a number line. So this is part A and this is our number line and we will start from here. This is 0 and this is 1, this is 2, this is 3 and 4 and here we have minus 1. So now we have to show these values on the number line. So first of all we have minus 1 over 3. As we can see that minus 1 over 3 equals to minus 0 0.33. So we just have to find 0 0.33. So, so here we have minus 1 and this point will be minus 0 0.5 and, and near minus 0 0.5 this point will be minus 0 0.33 which is minus 1 divided by 3 and then we have 2.5 which is positive 2.5 so here is 2 here is 3 and in between there will be 2.5 so this is so this is the point of 2.5 and then we have one sided 3 over 8 8 times 1 is 8 and 8 plus 3 is 11 divided by 8 and if we divide 11 by 8 so if we divide 11 by 8 we will get 11 divided by 8 1.375 so this value equals to 1.375 so 1.375 will be around here because this is 1.5 and we have 1.3 so 1.3 will be near to the 1.5 so this point this is our one sided 3 over 8 and then we have 1 so here is 1 this point is 1 and then we have minus 0 0.2 so minus 0 0.2 will be on the left side of the 0 so 0 0.2 will be around here this point is minus 0 0.2 and then we have my and then we have 0 0.11 so since it is a positive value it will lie on the right side of the 0 so we can say that this point is 0 0.11. So now we have illustrated all these points on the number line which was required by the question. And then we move on the part B. And in part B we have positive odd integers less than 20. So first of all we have to list those values. So the values or the odd integers less than 20 are 1 is odd and positive and then we have 3 then 5, then 7, then 9, then 11, 13, 15, and we have 17, and then 19, which are all less than 20, and they are they all are positive or integers. So now we just have to show them on a number line. This is our number line. Here we have 0, here is minus 1, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14, 15, and so on. So first of all we have 1. So here is 1. We can show that this is 1. And then we have 3. So this point is 3. And then we have 5. So this point is 5. And then 7 this point is 7 and then we have 9 so this point is 9 and then we have 11 this point is 11 and then we have 13 so this point is 13 and then we also have 15 so this is 15 and we have to show the 17 and 19 as well so we just can extend our number line to the right and for and suppose that it is 16 and 17 we have no place for the 19 but you can draw that by yourself so this is our 17 and don't forget that you 
should draw the number 19 as well because we have no place or we can just extend this line like this we can get here 18 and then 19 and we can say that this point is 19 so this is the way we have to illustrate all the positive odd integers less than 20 on a number line and then in part c we have prime numbers more than or equal to 2 but less than 10 so the prime number the first prime number we have is 2 and here the condition is that the prime numbers which are more than or equal to 2 so we can take 2 for the first time so in part c we have 2 and then the other prime number greater than 2 is 3 and then we have 5 then 7 and it is and there are no uh, and there are no other prime between 7 and 10 so we just have to stick by the less than 10 so now we just have to draw these values on the number line so here is our number line here is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 so first of all we have to mark the 2 and then we have to mark the point 3 which is also a positive or prime which is also a positive and prime number and then the prime number we have is 5 and the next prime is 7 so these are all the prime numbers which are less than 10 or greater than or equal to 2 and then in part d we have to list the common factors of 12 and 16 so first we have 12 so we have to list all the factors of 12 the factors of 12 are 1 because 1 can divide 12 and then we have 2 2 can also di divide 12 and then we have 3 3 is also a factor of 12 and then we have 4 and 6 and 12 itself so these are all the factors of 12 by factor we mean that these all values can divide 12 completely and then we have to list the factor of, the, of 16 so 16 has factor of 1 2 4 and 8 and 16 itself so these all are the factors of 16 now we just have to find the common factors here the common factors are 1 the common factors is 1 and the other common factor is 2 and the other common factor is 4 so these three are the common factors of 12 and 16 so we just have to illustrate these three values on the number line so we can draw a number line here we have 0 1 2 3 4 5 here is minus 1 and then the first point here is 1 so this is the 1 and then we have 2 which is also a common factor of these two and then the other common factor is 4 so we just have to illustrate all these three points which is our answer so if you are new to our channel please subscribe the channel like the video and share the video Thank you.